how about now? Because I think, I think that was it. Something was connected to my Bluetooth. Do I have sounds now? Yay! Oh my God, you guys. Y'all are my lifesavers. Okay. Yay, hi. <laughs> Nine years later, hello. I told we've had this problem before. I forget what it was connected to before that where like it wouldn't work. And I was like, I'm pretty far from the apartment. Like, I'm really surprised the Wi-Fi even makes it out here. But then like somehow it's still connecting to my phone, which is even farther because I'm on the opposite side of the apartment. It's very bizarre. Whose idea was that? That was Snide's idea. Snide is the Snide saved the day. Snide is our hero. Snide is our Lord and Savior today. How we doing? Oh, I need to get a different pump because this pump is not it. Every time I use it, it just doesn't. I forget, what did it come with? Was this the pump for the duck? I think this was the pump for the duck. Because every time I use it for like normal things, it's like not nah, barely fits in there. It happened to you before? Oh. Ba bam. Hi, Kanye. Hi, Uncle. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Sny. Hello, Sparky. Hello, Sid. Can I explain my tattoo? Oh, I don't have any tattoos. I literally have zero tattoos. What are you talking about? What do you mean? You, I think you. I think you're like still stuck in the past when Harley was here and Harley had all the tattoos. Yes. Hi, Iron Forge. Who am I missing? I'm missing people. Okay, I think I caught up now. You've been awake for 17 and a half hours? Why? Why would you do that to yourself? Why? Yeah. Almost there. Explain my tattoo. Um, so my tattoo is of my whole body. My ta I tattooed myself um, Miku to be a, to look like Miku. I'm not the original Miku. She, I am a copycat. I am a knockoff. Um, Kevin is going for a new awake record. I don't know. I think I don't know the longest I've ever been awake. What's the longest you guys have ever been awake? I think 24 hours, 20 something hours. I don't think I've done anything more than 30 hours in a row. Hi, Kamo. How are you, my love? I'm just pumping up this ball. <laughs> Scared me. Okay. Oof. Okay. Nice and, yeah. Nice and filled up. The other one was deflating anyways. It was no good. Yes. The longest you've been up is 36 to 40 hours to do what? So what were you doing for 36 to 40 hours? I don't understand. I don't understand. Fixing your sleep schedule for a pay-per-view view tomorrow. Ooh, is it like the WWE stuff? That's got me so exciting. Yes. Good luck on me being your own record for 40 hours away. Oh, wow, so you guys, 40 hours. 40 hours is the time to beat is what you guys are saying. 40 hours when it goes into extreme mode, right? Seven days, oh my God, that's crazy. Drugs, man. Drugs will make you do some crazy things. That can't be good for your psyche though. Like I know there was like um, a research study or no, I, mean, I don't know if it was a research study, but there was a guy who wanted to break the world, the Guinness World Record for like being awake the longest. I end up being awake for I think like 11 days or something crazy like that. And like to this day, it's affected his sleep quality. He was like, I've never had sleep problems before, but after I did this little social experiment or whatever, it was a weight experiment. He sometimes has a hard time, like he still has a hard time going to sleep when he has like some weird insomnia thing now. It's not good for you. It's not good to go without sleep. 67 hours, oh my God. You tried for 69 hours? Of course, right? You're so close at that point. You're like, might as well get the ha-ha in there, right? Uh, <laughs> but you started losing it. What does that mean? Were you getting like really irritable? Were you seeing things? Like, how did this work? Yes. Hi, gentlemen. I'm doing super good today. We just started off stream and we're having some technical difficulties, but we booped them away. Snine came in to save the day. Uh, yes. 
Royal Rumble tomorrow. Ooh, so it's gonna be like a big thing. I feel like I need to watch this stuff so I can understand a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? It sounds like something David Blaine would do. I, I feel like I should know this name. I've heard that name before, David, Daniel, David Blaine, but I don't know who that is. Let me type in the internet though. Let's see if the internet will tell me who this man is. David Blaine. Oh, is that the? Oh, he's a, an American illusionist, endurance artist, and extreme performer. He is best known for his high profile feats of endurance and has set several world records. Like what? I want to know what world records you beat. Guinness World Records. Oh wow. Stunts and specials. Street magic, buried alive, frozen in time, drowned alive. Guinness World Records. I want to know. Uh, I don't know what this means. For oxygen assisted static apnea. What is that? What is that? Uh, Blaine held his breath for 17, oh my god, before entering the 1800 US gallon water tank. Blaine spent 23 minutes inhaling pure oxygen. Oh, so pure oxygen is the way, apparently. And uh, what, but after inhaling, Pure oxygen for 23 minutes. Blaine was able to hold his breath for seven minutes, seven, sorry, 17 minutes, four and a half seconds. I love how they add the half second in there. It's like, this is important. Every half second counts. Surpassing Kolob's preview mark of 16 minutes and 32 seconds, setting a new Guinness World Record that stood until 2008 when it was surpassed by German diver Tom Sietes, who, who during an episode of the American talk show Live with Regis and Kelly, Held his breath for nine, or sorry, 17 minutes and 19 seconds. Bro, that's that's a pretty close competition right there. That's really close. Bum, 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 bum. What's going on? Who's talking about a two dame band? Yes, I am in a bikini again. It's hot tub screams for 30 days. 30 men in the ring starting with two every 90 seconds. What? A new wrestler enters in until 30. The only way to win is to eliminate your opponent by throwing them over the top rope, both feet touching the floor. Whoa, oh wow. That sounds really crazy. That sounds so extreme. I feel like how, how do you do that? Internet, why would you do this to me? I love how there's so many rules. Winter gets to face either the WWE Champion or the Universal Champion at the main event of WrestleMania. Is Winter like a, a wrestler? Is that the name of a wrestler? Well, why do you play these games? 
stage with me. Okay, bend it just a little closer to the window. I don't know why. The farther back my laptop is, the better service I get. It's super weird. But then I hate being like, Ugh, you know what I'm saying? Like bleaching all the way over. It's like annoying. Uh, we'll work what we got. Come on, let's connect. Let's do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. There we go. Okay. Me isn't a Karen. I love me. Why wouldn't you like me? Winner gets to face. Oh, yes, yes, yes. How do we get leg scars? What leg scars? I don't have any leg scars. I have some scratches. I got a scratchy right here. That's actually from this hot tub, so. That's why I have to scratch you. I, was, I don't remember what I was doing. I was doing something on here and I fell and I scraped my my knee or my 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 thigh. My what is it? My shin. <laughs> and natty. Natty lessons. My shin. That's why. Spoiler alert, you think Drew McIntyre will win the Royal Rumble? Why? What makes you think that? Do you take that oh Wait, why would I take my bikini off? That's like, this is like not the platform, my guys. It's like not the platform. I'm doing 31 days of hot tub streams. You think I'm gonna stop that for you? I've been streaming in a hot tub every day for 28 days straight, my guy. Do you know how much commitment that takes? I've streamed in Florida, I've streamed in California, I've streamed in Arizona this month, and I've been here every single day. If you think I'm gonna give it up for your entertainment, that is hilarious. Who are you? Who even are you? Oh, winter. I thought I said winter. Ah, yes. Okay, okay, I see. Thank you. You feel bad for whoever comes at number one? Only two people have one from number one. Oh, you mean like the first person to get in the ring? Oh my God, that has to be crazy. I, I can't, I like, how does it, how does the order determine? Like, is it just like random, it's like draw names and you go in, or is it like a predetermined, like, you know what I'm saying, like list? Oh my God, Bella, hi baby. Hi, my love, how are you? Thank you so much for resubbing for seven months, guys. You know, that's like one of, one of our longest subs. Bella is our founder's bat. What a sweet man, thank you so much. How you been? What you doing? Aww. Hello, MLS, MLS Jan. I what can come out my mouth right today. How are you? My body is a wonderland. It's like, it's like I'm that drunk mayor song. Should be an amusement park. Ooh, there's a hole in here. Oh, there's a hole in my balloon, guys, or my, my thingy. There's a hole. Where'd you, where'd you come from? I didn't ask for this. Do they all have holes? Is that why the other one's deflating? I feel cheated right now. Cheated AF. Bella, I'm gonna do a lil spin for you. Cause you have a founder's badge. So let's do it. If Kmo is still in here, I will do a spin for you as well, Kmo. Bum, bum, bum. Where did my music go? Okay. My body is in a music park, doesn't have the same ring to it. Yes, my body's in an amusement park. Five squats, all right, all right, Belly. I got five squats for you, so we're, let me pan this a little bit. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right, so I gotta get a good form here. Decent form anyways, because I haven't practiced. So we have one, two, three, Four and five, yay! A little mini workout in there. Thank you so much. 
Thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate you, especially being a founder. We don't have too many of those in here. Yes. You guys, if you guys want to see more squats, I'm telling you, you want to make sure this squat-a-thon happens. So I set the date for, when did I set it to end? Our squat-a-thon ends in 24 days. So I made it really easy. That means it's only, oh, that's right. So our squat-a-thon goal is going to end on uh, February 22nd of 2022, because you know, two, 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 two. two. You know what I'm saying? It was easy for me to remember. It took me a minute, but now it's easy for me to remember. So that is where I'm going to get the DD method and we're going to see how many squats I can do until I just cannot. And then I'm going to be the peach king or queen, wherever I feel like I can be both right now, right? You think Bailey's coming back or Alexa Bliss may win? Oh, is it women against men? Or is it just like men and like, how does this work? Is it in categories? like? Is it by body weight? Like, I, I don't know. Thanks. Hi, Kanye. Hi, 420. AEW nowadays brings back old school wrestling feelings, like with the themes and stuff. I didn't watch wrestling growing up as a kid, so I, I've never really watched wrestling, so I don't really have a lot of knowledge i mean i know like when i used to work at sports bar bars they do like ufc nights people were super into those but even then i'm like mm -hmm. you know i'm super good how are you my b two different royal rumble match oh okay 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 that makes sense i was like Whew. you know it's rigged there's women out there destroying these men i'm just saying one for men and one for women yeah okay 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 yeah that makes a million times more sense It's men, then women, that's right. You gotta have the men's show to prime up for the real main event, the women's show. Uh, <laughs> am I a wrestling fan or something? Do I like to watch it on TV weekly? I don't have cable or pay-per-view or any of that kind of stuff, so no. I don't watch it, but we talk about it a lot. And like A lot of our viewers, a lot of our people in our community, ooh, a lot of them have a... Uh, interest in like the wrestling world so we talk about it a lot i learn about new things every day like the characters and and the lineups and who's like predictions and things like that it's super cool okay guys we know tomorrow number 27 is miku ha that's me i'm just going to be like heavily disguised i'm going to tattoo my whole face and body again again to look like someone totally new that you'll never recognize Jokes on you guys. Mm. Where is Wes? Where is this man? He should be here by now. Well, how many how many having mic problems? Uh Trying not to get eliminated too quickly, I will do my best. I'll like, I'll wear like a whole bunch of rings, you know, and I'll just like, I'll just like, okay, if I go in the ring with a key, right, and I just, you know, wah, wah, you know, like hit him in the face, like really soft, and then jab him really hard in, in, in the abs, I think I'll win. I, what, I'm not a trained professional, like, it's not my fault I didn't know how to wrestle. I'm just saying, I had to do what I had to do to win. Okay, survivalists over here. I don't have cable at my place. What do you do for free time? If you're bored, maybe you should move in with me. You're a fun guy to be with. I mean, there's a lot of things to do outside of TV. Like, uh, actually both good. A little, little breeze, a little breeze. Oh, yes. Um, I mean, I have Netflix. I have Hulu. I have, uh, what is it? The HBO or Showtime or whatever, HBO Max or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? So, I watch those, but honestly, I haven't been watching any of that later, lately either because I pretty much watched everything I wanted to watch. Like, everything I want to watch is like, I've watched it. Or I'm waiting for a new season, or the, the series ended, or you know what I'm saying? Like, all this stuff has happened. So, I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know what to watch anymore. I was watching like YouTubers and then after a while it just became like too addicting. I was like, there's too much good content on YouTube. I can't. I can't. I have to stop. But I think it is cool. I think it's really cool about the world today too is like, you know, we have so many people who aren't actors and who aren't like, you know, celebrities and stuff like that. And they can still like have their own little TV shows essentially. Like with YouTube and stuff. It's so cute. I really love the series. There's like, uh, there's one guy, I think I showed him on stream, just does weird things. Another guy does weird things, he's known for like, he got f uh, famous on YouTube for doing the like most pop, or what is it? The worst, like reviewing the worst restaurant in my city, or like reviewing the worst like pizza hut in my city, like reviewing the worst Chinese food in my city, like he was, that was his trend, like he started that trend, and he got really big for it. But now he's put out videos, now he's like finding his life in, in like Mexico or something, I don't know. I wish him the best though. Ah! <laughs> Who do you guys like to watch on YouTube? Like, do you guys have like some favorite YouTubers? Honestly, I feel like I don't really like when people recommend shows to me because shows are just so long and there's so much to invest in. You're just like, oh, I don't have the time to like bring the whole story some series. But if it's a YouTube video, I mean, YouTube videos are usually like mm, 20 minutes long. And then I can put it on like a time and a half and then it goes by like, you know. 14 minutes long or whatever. This is nice. Didn't cable die in the early 2000s? People, my parents still have cable, believe it or not. And I'm like, it's just because change is hard. Change is hard. Who has cable? Yes, exactly. I feel that. It's her 50th birthday. Ooh, your mama's 50th birthday tomorrow. And she wanted you to come over to her house for a family photo, but you said, sorry, mom, you're watching a PPV. You can't go, you can't go to like the, um, the picture before or after. You can't get the PPV at their place. Like they can't come to your house for the photo. I just feel like there are ways to make this work. What if you get here for her birthday though? What are you doing to make up for the fact that you're not giving her the gift of being there? You know how mamas are. Are you a mama's boy? We finally found a window. A window? What do you mean? Oh, he said he was sleeping at a homeless shelter by Bonser Rec Center, and you're like, how did I know we're probably there? I'm glad you found them. New Korean zombie series, All of Us Are Dead, just came out today. Is it on Netflix? Is it good? I'm not really into zombies, to be honest. I think I've, I've, I told you guys my stance on zombies is like, if the zombie, if the zombie apocalypse happens, I'm going to make myself as comfortable as possible, do everything I want to before it gets to me, and then I'm killing myself. Like, that sounds very morbid, but I'm not living through the zombie apocalypse. I'm not living through a post. Oh my god, this bee, don't you dare. That's right, you turn around, sir. Do not come over there. We do not want to. Sorry. Um, for reading a B. So, as I was saying, like, it's just, I don't want to live in a world where, like, I can't have internet and ice cream for $3 or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to live in a post, in the postmodern world where it's like, we all have to farm for our own food and we, we don't get to shower all the time because we don't have running water. And like, you know what I'm saying? I just don't want that. I feel like honestly, I, should, I you know for me, I would just appreciate the life I've had and it's been good for a while, it's been good and that's out of here. Hi, Timothy, welcome in. How are you doing? Oh my, oh my, oh my. Disney is working hard. He's working so hard right now. Hello, me and the mods and chat, hello. Hello. How's it going? You're new to the stream and the community and you follow my IG and my Twitter and turn on my notifications and join my Discord. Oh my God, you're like, you're like the dream viewer. Where are you from? How to find us? We're here um, doing a hot tub series for January. We're doing 28 days of hot tub streams or 31 days of hot tub streams. We're on the 28th day. So pretty much every day for January, I've been here in a new bikini every day. We've been to three different states. It's been quite a journey. I'm really glad you're able to kick it with us for our final week of bikini streams. Um, next month we have Fitness February, where I won't be streaming every day because I'm not that dedicated, but 
I will be streaming regularly and we will have a, a fitness theme for the month. I don't know if we're still going to keep doing themes this whole year or if I'm just going to do themes like the first two months. Or I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. So, welcome in. Thank you, Salami. How you doing? Where you from? You hate bees too? Yeah, I mean, okay, I don't hate bees. I hate yellow jackets. Like, you know, I just, but I just, when I'm freaking out, it's like my brain's not like, okay, what's the proper term for this thing that's freaking you out? It's just like, ah, bee, go away. <laughs> uh, you're coming over. Let us all, like, wait, let, watch all of us. We'll watch the show together and you'll bring snacks and a cooler. Ooh, what kind of snacks? I need healthy snacks. I need like fruit and like fresh veggies and um, maybe some fruit snacks to cheat. Some fruit snacks. I like fruit snacks. I was buying myself a whole bunch of fruit snacks for a while and then I had to stop because I was eating too many fruit snacks in a day. I was like, ooh, I'll just get these little fruit snacks and then I'll just have one a day. And then it'd be like one for breakfast one for lunch, another for dinner, and then a midnight snack, and then it's like, oh no, I went through my whole box of gummies in like two days. Hi, jeans. Hi, Jimmy. Feel like, yes. You're doing amazing, just hanging out with the community, being positive and supportive. Do you stream, Tim? Are you a streamer? You're from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, isn't that where alcohol, like beer from, right? So like uh, Coors is made in Milwaukee, right? Or is it St. Louis? I think it's Milwaukee. I can't remember. I think, no, I think Miller's in St. Louis, right? And then Coors is Wisconsin. I know Wisconsin makes cheese for sure. That's all I know. Uh, welcome in. I'm from Arizona. We are currently in Palm Springs, California. Um, enjoying a life here for another week or so before I head back to Arizona to do appointments and all kinds of boring stuff. Um, February is acknowledged Kevin month. Uh, have you guys acknowledged a Kevin? Don't worry. Your month is coming soon. We'll have like Kevin, Kevin awareness pamphlets. I'm down for that, honestly. Your channel is recommended to you, so you click on my channel under the pool and have some section. Oh! Well, thank you. Thank you, Twitch, for recommending me. I know it feels good to know uh, the feelings mutual, but uh, also, I'm glad you took the recommendation. I'm glad you found us and we are here. Unfortunately, you don't stream, but you really like supporting other streamers and their communities and modding. That's cool, yes. I really uh, enjoy Twitch. I've been doing it for like seven months now. Um, kind of fell into it by accident. I just met some really amazing people and I was like, well, I guess I'm gonna stay here now. Can't get rid of me. Beers from Milwaukee and cheese too. Yes, it's like the cheese heads. Isn't that like, um, I don't know if that's like actually a mascot name or if that's just y'all's nickname. You know what I'm saying? Okay, one more time. I got this. I got this. Is there a specific color we wear for Kevin Awareness Month or do we wear Calgary Flame jerseys? Uh, Kevin would know best. <laughs> I am not a Kevin, so I wouldn't know. This is my first Kevin Awareness Month, to be honest with you guys. I'm not that woke yet. We're getting woken up. It's like metaphorical coffee. Hi, bro. How are you, my love? It is officially Friday, so you guys know Rome is going to be doing the ship Friday very soon. If you have, oh, in an hour, in one hour. About to go for your run, to be lurking. Yes, go on your run. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. I don't know the rest of the words, it just goes somewhere, but I can't wait to get on the road again. Yeah, with my feet and my sneakers and the pavement. You know what, you don't understand how they make LeBron team captain on this team, Wes, and when Lakers are doing horrible this year, they should change it to team Curry. But I feel like maybe it's like the hype, right? They're like, ooh, we want his name, because it brings more notoriety. 
I'll tell you why. Yes, yeah, Salami. Do you stream? Are you a streamer? Are you gonna live in uh, Milwaukee forever and ever and ever, or that's just where you're from? Is there somewhere like you wanna be like differently, or you just see that place as being like the heartland for now and forever? Today, tomorrow, and always. Hi, Malix. Thank you. I haven't been working out. I have been, I did this body sculpting thing. It was kind of weird. I kind of thought it was going to be some like hooey. I didn't think, I didn't think it was going to work, guys, because it was like, I don't know, you know, that kind of stuff that just seems like pseudoscience-y and like, I feel like my stomach, my skin is tighter in my stomach. But I don't know, maybe it's because I haven't eaten today. I am very hungry. Once I eat that burrito, it's going to be like, mm -hmm. Oh my God, I found this place, guys, that makes these uh, hot Cheetos fries. Oh my God, so it's like, it's a place called Casa Neda's. It's like 24 hour Mexican place, fast food Mexican place. And uh, they have, it's like carne asada fries, but with hot Cheetos and extra like cheese, cheese dressing. It's uh, so bad for you, but so good. So good. I got some the other day, but I think I was too smashed to eat them. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know what it is about like lately. Like I've been traveling and we've been going and doing things with promo modeling and then after our promo modeling gigs we usually go get food either at the casino nearby or um Castaneda's. And uh I'm telling you, every single time I've just been like eat whole bites and then pass out on the table. I feel like it needs to be like a collage of me like pass out on the table. Because it's happened a lot this trip and it never happens to me like that. Wear anything. No, it has to be a thing. We're gonna make, I wanna make a thing, Kevin. We'll, we'll come up with something for Kevin to wear this month. It'll be like a, a sub inside joke. You didn't sleep last night, but somehow still have the energy and you don't know how. Well, definitely this run's gonna like put you in that place. Like, I feel like you're gonna go on this run and then you're gonna be like ready to go. It's either gonna wake you up or it's gonna put you out. You know what I'm saying? But I know you have a busy day today, so hopefully maybe a little bit of coffee. Coffee just I'm trying to think. I read um, a journal article yesterday because I found out, or I'm finding out my gallbladder is not very good. My gallbladder is like, mm, not working optimally. So I'm trying to like, I don't want to have surgery. Surgery scares me. I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. So I'm trying to like look at things that I can like ingest to make my gallbladder happier and function better. And I read that coffee actually is a really good, um, really good at making the gallbladder move like contract and have more function. So I'm gonna start drinking coffee now, even though I don't drink coffee typically because I don't, I'm not super into like caffeine and I'm not super into like, I already do things that save my teeth. Like I drink Hennessy, I drink red wine. Like I like to drink stuff that's like aged, has color in it. So because of that, it's not good for my teeth, which I'm getting whitened again in just a couple days. Oh no, it's a week, in a week. So in a week I'll have my perfect smile, it'll be, I was gonna say white is this, but this is gray. I don't want my teeth to be gray. But um, they'll be extremely white, so I'll be really, really happy. How are you doing, Malix? You didn't know that a supermodel streams on Twitch? Oh, thank you! Well, we, it was a lot of models on Twitch. I know a couple models on Twitch. I've seen a couple girls who are models as well. I'm a freelance model, I'm not a supermodel, but thank you. Thank you, my love. LeBron James overrated, why? You are weird with no friends, but you enjoy watching Twitch. But I feel like if you can make friends, right? Like that's what Twitch is about. I feel like for me, Twitch is about making friends. Like it's honestly what I really enjoyed about the social platform is it, it makes me feel like it's a, a fun, safe platform. Like I feel like with Instagram and with Facebook and with, I mean, Twitter and all that, it's just, it's such a different like social media platform and people are, I don't know how to explain it. These people just seem like less real in like posts and, and comments versus like being here and having continuous ah, chats about literally anything. You were born and raised in Milwaukee and you're gonna be there forever, right? How many days a week do I work out? It's not enough. I need to work out more. I need to work out so much more. I'm just a small woman. 
it's just that I, uh, when I was 15, guys, I, I decided to play soccer. I'd never played a sport in my life, and I was like, ooh, I want to learn how to play sports. I don't know why. I got, like, a stick up my ass, and I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try out. So I did, and they took me, and I was like, <gasps> surprise, because I, I am not coordinated. Mm -mm, no. So anyways, they, I, they, they took me, we did the spring conditioning training, and I'm telling you guys, that is the hardest I've ever trained in my entire life. Like, we would run, like, multiple miles a day, every day. Sometimes we do the Indian miles, which is where we're all running in a line, right? We're all running. Not like this, not like T-Rexes, we're, like, running, running, right? And then, like, um, you have this medicine ball. Oh, this is perfect. So I have this medicine ball, right? So as you're running, you're passing this ball this, you know, 15 pound medicine ball behind you and the other person behind you was taking it, right? And you're like, okay. And then only that, at the very end of the line, you have the ball, you have to like sprint to the front. You gotta like, and start at the front and then pass the ball back again. Oh my God, that shit killed me every time. I just wanted to die on the inside. It was, oh. But anyway, so we did a lot of that. We did like, um, we did multiple miles a day. We would do weight room twice a week. Um, and they like have us do certain workouts and stuff and I'm telling you like I that's where I have the foundation for my looks like my abs Are only there because when I was 15 I worked we used to I'm telling you we used to do like 500 crunches a day Like I'm not even exaggerating to you guys. Well, maybe not every day, but every day we were doing like it was every day We didn't do the gym every day we didn't do the gym We had 500 crunches and basically it was like a series. It wasn't like 500 straight crunches It was like a million different variations of crunches. So we'll do like 40, 50 of one crunch, like, you know, like a normal crunch, and then you have the side crunches, the twist crunches, you know, this, these crunches, the cherry pickers, you have your legs up, you have, like, the, the lower body crunches, like, it was just, like, all the crunches. I learned all the variations of the crunches. I'm telling you, it was crazy. I wish, like, honestly, that coach was a giant fucking jackass. Like, I don't wish him well. I'll just leave it at that. But what I will say is his conditioning program was amazing. Like his actual coaching skills were trash. Like when it came to like us actually playing, like, despite the fact that everyone was really well conditioned, uh, we played like horribly. Like we did not have skill and strategy because our coach was a douche. But he should have been a fitness trainer in his like next life. Or I guess like maybe he wants to restart his life and do it now. Probably be a good idea. Although it's been many years now and he was also old and fat at the time. So. But what coach isn't old and fat, right? Like how many coaches do you see these days that are young and in shape and you're like, hmm, interesting. How did you get into this industry? Usually take a nap during the day, not sure if it's food related. Your mom had her gallbladder removed and she's okay. Hope you'll be okay. Thank you. I know, I know I'll be okay. I just, I don't wanna have, I don't wanna have any kind of surgery or scars on my stomach, none. I don't have any right now, I don't want any, you know? So I had one surgery on my knee and you can barely see the scar, like it's barely there. And I've been very blessed for that, you know? But as a model, like this is one of my, it's like the center of my body. Like I really don't wanna, I don't want any cuts. I don't wanna have to recover. I was reading it. It's like I do on this like really low fat diet for like weeks. And then I had my gallbladder removed and they had to stay on this low fat diet for like a long time and like slowly integrate new foods. And I'm like, that does not sound like a good, easy thing to do for someone like me who has to travel, which means I would have to stop traveling and and sit on my ass and do all this stuff, which honestly scares me because that's exactly what happened during COVID, uh, minus the health thing. And uh, that did not serve me too well. Miku is the model of Twitch. Yes, I need I need that partner. I need that partner trick first before I can officiate that. But yes, the unofficial. Yes. Hi, Cosmo. Running past the ball, person behind you running, sprint the past the ball. Yes, yes. But it's like a 10, 15 pound medicine ball. So it's like, it's not like you're just passing a ball. It's like, it's like, it's like you're like hurling a ball over and trying not to like, you know, like whack someone in the face, to be honest. Thank you, Tim. I, um, you guys can see all my, my work, all my photos and stuff like that on my Instagram. I do have a Twitter, but I don't use it for anything. People do tag me and stuff. There are a couple pictures on my Twitter from my friend, Bruce. Uh, he was a photographer I met in Exuma. His partner is this amazing model. Love her work. And uh, he just, he's more savvy with the social media than I am on that. So um, that's why there's pictures of me on Twitter. 
500 crunches a day, that's impressive. You think you did 50 a day at your peak? Dude, well, it was, it was honestly obsessive. It was ridiculous. Like, honestly, I think the coach was doing it to, like, see people would leave. Like, I don't know. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, because honestly, like, I was getting through them, but they were kicking my ass. But my friend was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not everyone completed the workouts every day. But it makes sense, because they were brutal. I mean, truly. Hi, Zardak. How are you? Nice to see you. Can I be your friend, Sid? But we are friends. We're already friends right now. We've been friends. What do you mean? Gall water removed. That's wrong with it. That's pretty drastic. So uh, it's actually a common thing, and it's actually becoming like one of these things that are increasing. Increase like uh, more and more people are having gallbladder issues and are gallbladder removed. Like it's increasing in what's the word? Uh, anyways, you know what I'm saying. So it's not a crazy surgery. It's not like it's not an uncommon surgery. It's it's not even that risky, but. It's to my belly, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to remove an organ for free. You, They want me to pay to remove an organ? I know people in the black market who will take it out of me and give me money, I hope. I hope. <laughs> when I wake up, still have my money, right? Hopefully they only took my gallbladder. Uh, there's an Instagram model uh, that you follow on the gram, and she sucked the fat on her stomach and put it in her butt, but she used some kind of scar cream after for her stomach and the, and the scars you can't see. Again, it's Instagram, so who knows how much Photoshop from what you see, you wouldn't know. I mean, yeah, that's true. There's like a lot of microscopic like stuff they do. Like, I mean, it's not like they would like cut my stomach. It's not like they're gonna go like tear me open and you know like rip me open to pull out a little bit of gallbladder. It's not like you know a baby or anything. Um, they would. It's like a microscopic surgery. They basically come into three. Like I think I said. I think I read it's like three places they come into and like try to pull it out that way and whatever. But. Mm. I like my I can eat whatever I want diet until I have these random medical flare ups. I don't know where they came from though. It just doesn't make sense to me because I feel like, honestly, I just feel like I'm not a medical professional. I know this, but for those three flare ups to happen and for me to live my life like normal, this doesn't make any sense to me. So bizarre. Sounds like band camp, the coach just yells at people until they go home. Yes. Are you in, were you in band camp? Ooh, if you guys were in band camp, what was your best band camp story? That's appropriate. So that's not TOS, right? <laughs> Increasing in frequency. Yes. Yes. That's the word. That's the word. My guy, you got it. Working. I need to hit up this one guy who does it's a tequila company. I need to see if they want advertising because I basically like so basically I was in this bar, right? And I was chilling and doing my thing in my life. And I met this guy, right? And he was talking about how like this tequila is amazing, it's the best tequila, blah 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 blah. And I was just like, oh my god, this guy is just like I don't know if he like if he's getting paid extremely well or if he got like he really has a hard on for this like tequila or something. So he offered to buy me and my friend a drink and we we're of the tequila and I was like, bring a tequila. I'm not gonna say no. And it was actually really really good. I really I didn't have that bite afterwards that a lot of tequilas have. Um, it was really smooth. So I left them the review on Instagram, basically being like. This tequila, like I met this rep, I basically told the story over again about how I met this rep and I thought he was cocky and blah, 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 but then I tasted tequila and it was like, it all makes sense. Like he was cocky because the product matched up with like what he was describing and you know what I'm saying? And so anyways, they gave me the owner's number and I was supposed to contact him about doing some promo work, but I just haven't yet. What does a 
water do? Um, from what I understand, it like helps move bile from one from the stomach to another part. I'm not entirely sure. All I, <coughs> I guess I should find out, right? But all I know is that you can live without your gallbladder. That you don't have to have, like it's not a necessary organ anymore. You know, it's like your appendix. It's like one of these things that like our body, our, <coughs> for what I understand, our DNA and stuff like that hasn't like, oh, evolution, that's what I'm looking for. Evolution hasn't like factored out like the appendix and the gallbladder, even though, you know, it's not important to us. You're always in amazing weather. We're in the middle of a snowstorm right now. Deja, you just gotta move. You gotta pack up your bag and look at where you want to live when it's freezing. I'm telling you, cause I know you guys hate the heat and everything, but I'm telling you the heat is so much better. Like, hey, when you live in the cold and you get in your car and you turn on the heat, is it instantly hot? No. You have to wait on the car to warm up. And so you're sitting there freezing for like a good like five, 10 minutes until the car finally warms up and you're like in bliss. But when it's really hot outside, you jump in the car, you roll down the windows to get the hot air inside your car, and you roll it back up and you blast the AC and you are cool, baby. You are good to go. Like when it's really hot outside and and you just don't want to do it, you can't stand it, you just stay inside. You, stand, you know what I'm saying? And if you gotta go outside, you go outside, you, you do your quick errand, you run out there, you skedaddle, and then you skedaddle right back in, and it's no big deal. But if it's snowing, like yeah, you can stay inside too. But if you need to go run an errand, my God, you were in some trouble because you had a lot of shoveling to do and a lot of, you're gonna like do all this stuff and like all this weather to battle just to even do the thing. And it's like, ah, no, no. Bile, ah, oh, yes. Uh, it secretes bile into your intestines which helps break down your food for digestion. Yes, exactly. But what they do is like, I guess it's like, you still have, like, basically when they remove your gallbladder, they leave this little tube and it just helps like drain. It'll just drain all that stuff from your stomach into your intestines and it'll cause, pro it can cause problems. Like it can increase your chance of having liver problems. Like basically your gall, your gall, your gallbladder helps the liver, I think. Like it helps, hmm. The only reason I say that is because like, I think they're related to the liver because that's the only reason why they think or they started looking into gallstone problems for me is because I have high liver enzymes. So I was reading somewhere that like removing your gallbladder can increase the risk of like cirrhosis and other liver related diseases. So I like to think that maybe the gallbladder has some like mm, purifying system to it or something for the liver maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I wish we had an anatomist in here to give us the lessons. Your only band story is the sex with us got all the girls and you played the French horn. Well, yeah, the sex is sexy. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, the French horn is cool, but it's like very big. Like, how am I gonna get close to you when there's this giant thing in our way? You know, the saxophone is like, it's right here and it like comes down and it like swoops up. You know what I'm saying? It's like almost suggestive. It's like, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? The saxophone like lets people know. It's like, the saxophone like, you know, it's like thin and it's like long. So like, you can press up against them and I'm always playing saxophone, you know? But if you're playing the French horn, and like, I don't know if you guys know what the French horn looks like, but I'm pretty sure if I remember right, it's like the little thing, it's like, it's like a little circle part, it's like little metal pieces on the inside. It's like all, and it's just like, how am I gonna get close when we have like this giant thing between us? Come on, my guy. Smooth tequila, is that an oxymoron, like a round square? No, it's smooth, it's good. You'll have to try it. When I when I get them to endorse me as a model, then I'll be like, ooh, I'll tell you what it is. Gallbladder creates bile that's used in digestion. You can live without it only if you have a special diet. Yeah, I know, I don't wanna live my life on a special diet. But you know what, let's be real. Pretty much every model I know has this, like, like a special diet, you know? Most models I know are either like, vegans or vegetarians, or they only eat certain foods, or they can't have gluten, they can, you know what I'm saying? They all have special diets, and I'm like, cost of being beautiful. Can I do the skedaddle thing again? I don't know what I did. I just did the thing. I don't know what I did. You'll have to clip it and then replay it and then replay it and then replay it. You know what I'm saying? You missed the heat? Yeah, you've been in 128 degree Fahrenheit in Lake Havasu. I love Lake Havasu. I didn't know it got that hot. I love Lake Havasu, but I feel like that's okay. That's okay. It's still sunshiny outside. It's bright. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like that's probably too hot for a convertible. I have a convertible. The liver filters toxins in your blood. Without proper digestion, the liver has more to do. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Look at you with all these knowledge. Look into intermittent fasting. It helps with many things. I mean, you know what's crazy is actually I didn't, I kind of thought fasting was kind of like no key, like not it, but you know how people are like, oh, I feel so good after fasting for a couple days. And you're like, really? But then like, okay, so when I had my, when I had my flare up in Arizona the third time, right? After I just got out of the hospital in Vegas, I was super stressed because I didn't want to eat anything because that had that was what triggered my flare up that time was I was eating soup and after I ate the soup I felt nauseous and I had to go to the hospital. So for like two days I really didn't eat anything, but I had so much energy. I had a lot of energy. I didn't smoke any weed. I didn't eat any food. I didn't uh, have any nicotine. Just water. Just water and electrolyte. And bro, I I I did have like increased function. Like I felt like. I, I was like more put together, but also I was like stressing out and like really anxious about my condition. So like that overtook a lot of it, you know? You were born in Lake Havasu? No way! I took a private plane. Well, I didn't, I didn't fly it. Um, one of my friends is part of like a, a flight group. They're all trying to get their like, uh, I don't know, they're all trying to get maybe their commercial license or something, but you have to do like so many flight hours, right? And so they all like put in to like, pay for this boat and they all like pay to maintain it and uh basically the deal is like they'll take me where i want to go if i pay for the the gas which is like 60 bucks so not a big deal so got in the plane and took off my private uh, on my first private plane ride to lake havasu but honestly but i don't know if i'd do that again because like when you're in a big airplane, you experience tur turbulence. Like it never really bothers me. It's never that bad. You know, like little dips here and there, little, you know, usually you don't feel them. I feel like when you're in big airplanes, but in these small airplanes, you feel everything. And it's so scary too, because it's just like, you're just like in the cockpit, like hanging out and all of a sudden it's just like, doop, you just drop down like a whole bunch. You're like, oh my God, oh my stomach. It's like, it feels like being on a roller coaster and you, but you're never expecting, you know, on the roller coaster, you can like see the drop coming and you prepare yourself for it, which is like for me the worst part. But on these planes, it's just like do 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 and you're just like, oh my god. Oh, oh. like the, the honestly like the little like wavering like that, the shaking back and forth doesn't bother me. Like I don't get motion sickness, it's just the the quick dropping. And just uh oh, I can't. You were born in Phoenix and you greatly dislike Phoenix. What? I like Phoenix! There's so much to do in Phoenix! What do you hate about Phoenix? What do I I'm gonna sing. What is the T? Bum, bum, bum. Fasting, I'm serious. Make a fail jump? What does that mean? Hi, yummy. How you doing? Good luck on the tequila gig. You should be the face of their product. Oh, well, they already have like a logo. I'll just be going around being like, ooh, do you want this tequila? Do you want to put this tequila in your mouth? And they'll be like, oh, yes, pretty lady. I'll put whatever you say in my mouth. And then, bam. Bam, I make a sale. Well, I don't know. I don't think I'm actually selling tequila. I think it's usually, usually when you do like promo modeling for alcohol, you're not selling the alcohol. You're just sampling them out to either get the, them to order, like the, the patrons to order the drink at the bar. Or I've seen people, I think I've seen girls work at like liquor stores, but I've never worked for one. Yeah. You have a convertible? Yes. I've had a convertible. I was very spoiled at, um, as a child. Like my, my mom had a, a convertible car and then she got tired of it and wanted a brand new car right around the time I was turning 16. And so that it laid it into my hands and I was like, ah, I'm, the, I'm the girl with the convertible. And I used it everywhere, but then I had to like leave my home. I get my own car, do my own thing. And it wasn't until like this last car that I bought that I was finally able to buy myself a convertible. But she's an old car. She's like, 12 years old now? Yeah. 12 or 13 years old. Uh, you drive your mom's car when you're able. It's actually one of the few things you can more or less do still so drive your family around sometimes. That's nice. At least you have something you can do to like get out and feel connected with like 
your friends, your family, and even like society a little bit. Yeah. Lake Havasu is a big spring break hot spot. Really? Is it still though? I heard it's not anymore. Like I know they do like the the Red Bull thing where it's like they jump off like these giant cliffs and there's like they're like professional athletes that do these things sponsored by Red Bull. You thought it was normal for people to be walking around in a bikini in the grocery store? I wish. I wish it was normal for people to walk around in bikinis in the grocery store. But then also, also though, I just, I could see it now. I just like, it would make sense if you lived in a place where it's like beachy. Like, and, and like, I've lived in beachy places before. So it's like, I feel like if there's a store by the beach and a person's in a bikini, like that's fine. But like, if you're just going to Walmart at 3 in the morning in a bikini, I'm almost wondering why. Why are you doing this to yourself? Because like, as a woman, like you don't need to wear a bikini at Walmart to be followed. But you know what, but maybe if I wore a bikini, they'll actually pay my grocery bills though. Cause I've always, I've always wondered. I feel like, okay, in today's world, you can't, you can't tell a guy you have a boyfriend or that you're like not into their gender or any of that stuff. They don't care anymore. I feel like you have to tell them you're poor and looking for money. And then they're just like, out of there. They're like, ooh, she's a gold digger. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I can't afford this, I gotta go. And I'm not, but it works. I've never seen, I've never, I can't think of anything else I can say that makes men run faster. You know what I'm saying? And it's like become the new thing for me. That's how I get rid of men. I tell them I'm a gold digger. I'm like, oh yes. You know, I always, I expect everyone that I ever touch uh, their hands to like pay me a thousand million dollars. Like you want eye contact? That's a million and two dollars. Like. This is the world we live in. Like, I don't know. Something ridiculous like that. <gasps> Why is it not charging? Why aren't you charging? My laptop isn't charging. I don't know why. Oh, it's all the way in the wall? Does that make it work? No. Oh, no. I'm worried now, guys. My laptop doesn't want to charge. How's this gonna work? Maybe it's just the socket? I didn't bring anything else with me, so I can't test if it's my computer, or if it's the wall socket, or if it's the cable. Dang. Let's see if this other wall socket works. Hold on. Hold on, guys. BRB, temporarily disabled. Having technical difficulties again. How did I not notice that either? always work what I'm half Asian half white half Korean be more specific you thought it was uh, intermittent fasting can reverse a lot of digestive problems because it gives your digestive system a chance to catch up and rest you don't eat for 16 hours straight sometimes do you do that I feel like not eating for 16 hours is a lot it's really hard I like the outskirts of Phoenix you don't like downtown so much oh you don't like all the party girls in the clubs in the the uh, the college students, those damn kids. Thank you. Always hi. You always go to a Walmart in a bikini. You should. You go, girl or man. You you do your thing. I support you. I just I would never. 
you have a serious question, ask it yummy. As long as it's not TOS. Phoenix divers, Phoenix is way too hot. Wait, drivers, drivers. I was like, what? <laughs> Diving where? It's landlocked. Uh, Phoenix is way hot. Back in the day, cars hated Phoenix. Your cars hated Phoenix? What do you mean? Oh, could it get too hot for them? They'd overheat. Phoenix police were the most racist. You don't like ASU? If you think Arizona or Phoenix is a huge waste of water? Wow, you really don't like Phoenix. You're like, F this place. ASU, 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 ASU. Yeah, you really don't like ASU. Like, cause basically like Mill Street is where all like the the nightlife and stuff like that is for the college students in Tempe. And it's, it's crazy guys. Like if you go there, it's like pre-COVID. You're pregnant, we'll make them run. Oh, I don't know though. Cause there are guys with fetishes. You know what I'm saying? Or they like to be like, you know, the guys who want to be like the Captain save a hoe and they're like, oh, don't worry. I will do everything and I will fix it. And then like they, they, they tell you, you know, every, all the right things and they sell you the dream and then they just like, the baby's about to come, they're just like, gone. It's like, they, they, I guess you're right. They do leave. They just leave a lot later than you want them to. A lot, lot later. <laughs> I think your response would be, so that would be, I'm broke, want to hang out. I feel like, but then you get the picture, you know what I'm saying? Because I would just be like, oh, well then we're never going to work out, right? What stuff do I do on stream? I do all the stuff. I do the stuffy stuff. I, well, technically, if you want to get specific. So, um, we do a lot of chatting. We talk about all kinds of random stuff. We do have a spin wheel. I spin it for my VIPs and for my mods, or not my mods, but uh, I could. Uh, my VIPs and my founder's badges. This month, every day in January, because it's my birthday month. That's why we're doing the hot tub streams every day for 31 days. We are almost done with that too, you guys. You guys. Um, the GFCI, I have no idea what that is. But hi, Lariat. I will look into that. I'm gonna type, I'm gonna write it down because otherwise I will forget it. Is there a test button on the outlet? There is not, unfortunately. I tried that outlet, tried that outlet. I don't know if it's the outlets. I don't know. Maybe they're like, we saw this bikini girl there yesterday. Now, now we have to cancel her. Like canceling the internet or electricity, not the internet. They don't give me the internet. I wish they would. Uh, G, F, C. I definitely did that wrong. G, F, C, I. I will look it up on the internet later. Let me see if I can read this all for it, guys. Oh, Everton. The Everton, thank you so much for the dono. I really appreciate the $5 dono. $5 does make me holla, so thank you. Where are you from? Bye, Zardak. Hi, Cosmic. Yes, it's cotton candy. Cotton candy, it's like pink and blue. You intermittent fast on a regular basis. You're very healthy with many health benefits. When did you start doing that? Make sure on your next stream wear the hottest bikini and make us melt. I mean, I wear the hottest bikinis every day. What do you mean? Every day is a new look. I wear a different bikini every single day. You've not seen a, the same bikini once, right? If you guys go look back on every single video the last three days, you've worn a new bikini every single time. You're a bear down kind of guy. What does that mean? There are a lot of areas to dive in or near Phoenix. The lakes, you got certified in one. Plus Mexico is right there. I mean, I don't know if Mexico is right there in Phoenix. It's still like four hours away. Yes, the Everton, where are you from? Welcome in. I appreciate you so much. I'm canceled. No, don't cancel me. Hey, at 9-11 mile today, it's because you are flying by those runs. Congratulations, Rome. Triple digit run. It's amazing. Button between the outlet for the O, for the G. I don't know what the GFCI is, though. What does that mean? Did I get your message? I didn't see the message. What was the message? Um, we look on Streamlabs, it might tell me there. If I go to um, Alert Box, maybe? Recent events? I think it's recent events. Uh, I'm so confused. 
You want to see my belly button? But it's literally, my belly button's already here. It's literally right here. I'm so confused. Oh, it's a certain type of outlet. Okay, I'm understanding now. I get you. I guess you'll go find a nice poor girl to settle down with. I mean, you could still, I mean, I don't think that people who are wealthy are gold diggers, right? Because if they have the gold, why would they, you know what I'm saying? Usually when people think of gold diggers, they think of someone who's like on the come up, right? At least that's what I think of. That's what I think of. Which is weird because I mean, like, I guess you could be a gold digger and then make yourself successful then it wouldn't seem like you were a gold digger, but then you actually were. And then, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this conversation. You're also from Arizona, Phoenix. We saw a guy ranting about Phoenix. Really? How do you feel about Phoenix? Do you like Phoenix? I really like Phoenix. I think there's a lot to do, a lot of really good food. There's a Korean restaurant. There's actually a lot of Korean restaurants there. So it's really nice to have all these options. I'm not used to that. You've done intermittent fasting once a week or so for about three years. Wait, oh, okay, 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 once a week. I, was, I don't know why in my head that I thought you meant four a week and I was like, wait a second. Once a week, I can do that once a week. I feel like once a week is like acceptable. It's doable. Mm. You love Arizona, yes. Do you still live in Arizona now? Or did you go somewhere else? Have you abandoned your homeland? I'm just kidding, of course. I've been to Phoenix since winter. I went for, um, what did I go for? I went to go see my family. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so my, um, my, my dad's fiance is originally from there. So I went up there to go see them. You know? It was super nice. Ah, oh, thank you so much for the ten dollar dono. Thank you, the Everton. I really appreciate you. <laughs> You're so sweet. You've abandoned it. What? Where did you go? The message attached. I have to find it. You want me to make my belly look like a pregnant woman? Uh, that's probably one of the weirdest things I've ever done for ten dollars. But um, I guess I'm not. I guess I'm not against it. Like, so I just got, like, what if I? What if we're just like this? Like, this is my. This is my baby. Like, I feel like. I feel like this should work, right? Just envision this being my stomach. Yes. Very. Very maternal. Yes. Um, you live in Arizona, oh, you live in Arizona now, you lived away for 10 years, but you were back now, I know, it's hard to stay away from a place you love, especially somewhere you're from, ooh, I got more apples today, guys, I got the pink ladies, I'm not sure I'm super into them, though, you're stuck in Idaho, what's in Idaho, are you like a potato farmer, ooh, we just met the potato king, so the potato king for the peach queen, makes sense to me, the GFC on the outlet has a red button to push the test and the beige button to push in to reset the outfit. Yeah, unfortunately, these outlets do not have flip buttons. They are not GFCI outlets. Sad face. There is an outlet over there, but it's protected by... Oh wait, is it protected? Hold on. Alright, hold on. Let me, let me test the thing. I gotta, let me test this. Cause it might be my cord. I might just have to buy my friend a new, um, a new laptop charger. Different laptop. 
Update me. What should I be thinking of when I think of Idaho? Outside of thinking of you. There's fishing, trails, skiing, basically lots of nature. Although Boise is one of the fastest growing cities in America. Really? I didn't imagine that. Million dollars made by Dell. Okay, so then it should be easy to get a charger, right? And replacement charger from the Best Buy. You use Alienware for work? Ooh, what do you do for work? Are you like a gamey person? Do you like to do, like, what do you do? Like, when I think of Alienware, it's supposed to be like a gaming laptop, right? The water will work without power, it just won't be cold. But what, oh, okay, so let's go see if it's cold. Ah. Mm. The water is definitely cold. So, so then for sure, the water fountain is working. But that's a good one. Thanks for letting me check you guys. I love you guys. Y'all are like the best troubleshooters in the world. Truly, I appreciate y'all more than you know. You bought your house for $80,000 four years ago and now it's worth almost $300,000. Oh my God, that's crazy. Hopefully it's the charger has cable not the charging port on the laptop itself by now. That would, be, that would be really sucky because this is not my computer. It's not my laptop. So if I had to tell my friend that has been lending me this laptop that I destroyed the port somehow and now have to send it in to get serviced, it would probably make them nervous. Maybe I should do it without telling you if I have to do it. Then tell them if things go wrong, right? That's acceptable, right? Like you can tell somebody after you fix things, right? You're an electrical engineer. Ooh. You use it for CAD work. I'm not sure what that is. Your home almost doubled since 2018. So many people have moved out there. Yeah, and then like the housing crisis right now is insane. It's crazy what people want for houses these days and how fast they're flying off the market just like that. I honestly, it's really scary because it just seems like all these companies are buying up all these houses and then forcing people to like, to rent homes because there's no houses to buy. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like every time someone tries to buy a house, either they get overbid it, like overbid, or uh, the offer is put on the house, like and closed on the first, or not closed on, but the offer is put on the house, like on the first day. Mm. Have you guys had your apple today? Are you eating your apples? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. It's not been working for me, but I just started after I started seeing the doctors. So, maybe that's why. Mm. We haven't had an apple in a couple months. Really? Why not? They're good in fiber. Supposedly the sugar to fiber ratio in an apple is supposed to be really good at like waking people up and like keeping people awake for the day. Apples are overrated. What do you prefer a blue sack? What apples are you talking about? Because these pink ladies are kind of overrated. I, I don't know why I don't like them as much. They're just like kind of like it's that taste in your mouth. It's just kind of like almost like a sour taste. Is that what tart is? Tart is like almost a sour taste. I don't know exactly. When people say something is tart, I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know what that's describing. I don't know what, what tart describes, to be honest. Is that bitter? Like, is it a feeling in your mouth? Like, I'm not sure. Today's your last thinking over COVID. Oh, congratulations. Hopefully you haven't had any like crazy side effects or mm, really tough times. I'm sure it's stressful. You're for oranges. 
oranges are okay, but then like I don't like oranges because they have like sometimes like they're very like they have a lot of skin on them, you know? And you have to like pull off all the little skin. I don't know. I just don't like it when there's a lot of skin on or there's like little seeds in there and you're like, hey asshole, I didn't ask for you. I'm not trying to eat you. But then just like no finesse their way in there and you gotta like dig the seeds out. No. Pears are the best. I bought I bought some pears and I don't know. I just don't like them anymore. Tart is a sharp or sour taste. Okay, 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 okay. Understood. I understand. Okay, so lemons are tart? Really? Really? I've never, I don't know. You like the green granny apples? You know you're weird. No, actually, you know what? I used to never eat the green apples because I thought I have this weird thing with food. If you guys have been here before, you know. And for whatever reason, it's just like in my mind, apples are red. They're always red. They have to be red. I don't eat green apples. I've never wanted to eat a green apple. And I finally had a green apple. I don't know why. I don't know how. I don't know when. I just ended up with a green apple and I ate it and it was delicious. And I was like, wow, I don't know why. I expected it not to be sweet. But I, I did the same thing with grapes. For the longest time, I would never eat green grapes. And now I eat green grapes all the time. I think they're better than red grapes. But red grapes have more antioxidants in them, so I'll buy those. But I don't know. It's like a weird mental thing. I have like... It's almost like I have OCD with food. Like food has to be a certain way. It has to like appeal to me in a certain way for it to make sense. Like apples are red. That's what I was taught in school. So why the fuck is someone handing me a green apple? You know, I just, I don't know. It messes with my head. It's like dumb. You like kiwi fruit? I like kiwi fruit, but um, I've only liked it when I got it from this one grocery store. I don't know why. It was like organic kiwis and they were just great. But anytime I bought non-organic kiwis, it just like tasted completely different. It was like a whole new world where like kiwis tasted horrible. Rayburn apples and Jonah Gold, the best apples, red delicious taste like cardboard. But then why are they called red delicious, right? Like it's messed up. Oh no, guys, my phone is going to die. I'm gonna put it on this power saving and maybe I can save you guys for like a little bit longer, but my phone is gonna die and my laptop is gonna die. So I feel like the universe is kicking me off today. I'm gonna try to find something to write really fast. My phone's on 1%, guys. I have to go. It's gonna end on its own. Please press the raid button and tell whoever we raid that I'm sorry I couldn't be there. And if the raid doesn't happen, it's my fault. I'm sorry, guys. Yes. Why? Why? I'm just gonna keep eating my apple here. And, and until my phone dies and hope the raid went through. Oh my god, why are you like this? 